love plants is because, yes, some may die along the way, but you can literally just have unli unlimited plants. This next one is a pothos, and I love this one. I put it in this little basket my mom just got me, and I didn't know what else to do with the basket, but this pothos is so pretty. I think it might be variegated with, like, the white, as you can see, but she is growing really well, and then you can just see an overview, but let's go in room, which is where I do my main filming and working from home, as well as host guests. This was the one I showed you at the beginning. It's another baby pothos. I think it is variegated as well, and hopefully she will grow big and strong, and that one to the left is fake, but this one is real. Super low maintenance. I never touch it, and it just grows. It low-key looks fake, but it is real. I try to not have fake plants because they look fake, of course, but sometimes you just gotta mix them together, like the one hanging up there is fake, but the rest of these are real. This one is a Monstera that I split into a couple different ones because this one got a little burnt, as you can see there. I think it's because I had too bright, sun, too much of sun, like honestly in the Florida heat it was too sunny, and she has a brand new leaf, so I decided to just keep this one in water, because I know you can just keep the roots in water. So I'm hoping that that will bring her back to life. And then I have a ZZZ plant. Again, a great air purifier. I have this huge money tree, which I love the money trees. I don't really know if they're supposed to like bring you fortune and money, but like they're kind of difficult as a plant, honestly. But I love the way the trees look. This is a Sansevieria, I think, a snake plant, uh, other no otherwise known as. Again, a great oxygen purifier for your home. I just love the way I've created this space to be kind of like vintage bohemian, but also colorful and plants. And this is a snake cutting, which again, I have them everywhere because they're just good for air purifying. And just having a lot of plants in the home is really good for cleaning your home as well and giving you more oxygen. But this is an updated kind of room to where I've got some other plants, some more Legos, this cute little wall hanging that shows you all about house plants. Um, I have most of those on that list, so that's really cute. And then this is a baby money tree. Um, and it's on my partner's nightstand. We each have plants on our nightstand. She likes money trees. And then here are some new Legos that we built together. The roses look like real roses, guys. And this is just an overview. Oh my gosh, isn't it so gorgeous? I love the colors in here. We got more Legos, records. It's everything that I love and my partner loves. Music, Legos, um, plants, nature, just color. You know, we're not no beige and white over here. Again, sorry, that's the monster in water. That's another snake plant. I'm rambling over here. And then this is a baby snake plant, but she's doing really well. Again, next to my bed. This is another snake plant. Look at how gorgeous that is. See, they grow so fast and don't require much effort. And then on the wall, we've got some plant and cannabis artwork. My partner works in the cannabis industry and I honestly want to do a video soon on cannabis facts and, you know, just like a video about that. And then on this side, I have the shells because again, we love the beach. We love plants. Everything we love is in our room. And, you know, if it's not your room, if it doesn't explain who you are, but I really love what we've done with this place. And I'm really proud of how we decorated it. And it took a while, but this is the outside patio, which I love how there is no lining in our, like no railing, um, so we can walk right out. I got a little disco succulent. And this was the monster 